you, sir. First, I'd like to say thank you to the Sebastian Property Owners Association, everyone in attendance this evening, and those viewing by home. My name is Al Patternoster. I'm running for Sebastian City Council. 58 years old, permanent resident of Sebastian for the last eight years, although I've been visiting and vacationing here since 1975. I knew from the first time that I came here this is where I wanted to retire. I'm married to my wife, Diane, who is a daily inspiration to me. I have three grown children, three granddaughters, and a cocker spaniel. I'm an enthusiastic boater, fisherman, and an aircraft pilot. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran, retired police officer, also a former union president from the uh, New Jersey Police Officers Benevolent Association. I have my background in criminal justice, public sector labor management relations, Rutgers University, traffic engineering, Rutgers University, Northwestern University, traffic institute for forensic reconstruction of fatal accidents, Institute of Police Technology and Management, adjunct instructor for Northwestern University, I'm a graduate of the Advanced Institute for Elected Municipal Officials by the Florida League of Cities, and I just completed and have been qualified and licensed by the Department of Environmental Protection, State of Florida, as a stormwater management inspector. My civic association, I'm a former councilman, 2006 to 2008. I was nominated for Man of the Year in Sebastian 2006, Vice Chairman of the Sebastian Community Redevelopment Committee, uh, the Budget Review Committee, uh, and uh, it's uh, Indy River County Metropolitan Planning Organization, Division of Tourism Committee, and uh, I'm proud to say that I'm a former president of the Sebastian Property Owners Association who's sponsoring this forum this evening. I stand for integrity, transparency, and accountability, and I'll be speaking to you later. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we hear a lot about economic development, but the fact of the matter is we have 120 acres out at the airport build on. That's it. 120 acres. Part of that is on the air side and part of that is on the, the outside. Anything that's on the air side has to basically be for the advancement of general aviation. So it has to be aviation related in order to be in there. So we don't just have this, this vast amount of land where we can build anything we want. You can't go in there and build a CVS or, or a Walmart, not that anybody would want to build another one. But we can't just do that. There are, are regulations by uh, the Federal Aviation Administration that, that regulate that whole area there. So, you know, it's just, it, it's wonderful to say these things, but it, there, there's things that have to be looked at and gone through with a fine tooth comb before we can actually say, yes, we're gonna forge ahead and do that. We have our, our property up at the waterfront, but again, it comes down to the fact of, do we need to be putting money into that on an unsure thing? Well. Actually, we can uh, build some infrastructure out at the airport doing the same thing. There's grant money from all different agencies out there, including the USDA. But some of it is matching, some of it is not matching. We need to, to take our airport, if we're going to do anything with it at all, and start to make it look like a, a corporate center. If you go up there now, the first thing that you see when you turn in by the municipal golf course is dead end, and you really don't know where you're going. I've been very instrumental over time on getting low-pressing aviation here as an anchor. This is at least a 30-year family-owned company who was going to take 25 jobs and move out of state. But by going to the meetings, by, by pushing, by acting as a city council representative at those meetings, I feel very proud to say that I was instrumental in bringing them here, and they are here now doing business. 